In less than 24 hours, the Carolina Panthers kick off their season here in Atlanta, Georgia against the Falcons. Panthers linebacker Frankie Louvu was kind enough to sit down with us ahead of the season opener to talk all things football, but we also talked life off the field, including Frankie earning his U.S. citizenship this offseason and a special trip to Fiji with his parents to visit where his father grew up for the very first time. For me to go back and really like listen to all his brothers and like uncles and aunties that was there, um, kind of like just talking about my my culture, like my warrior heritage, like a lot of these things I didn't know about, which kind of explains how how I like kind of go through life also like play this game. Yeah. What surprised you the most that you learned? Uh, that my dad's village was like at the edge of the island, and it's called Tai Levu, and like settlers will come in, people will come in and, and other island villages will come in trying to take over the territory and for them to stand, um, like stand alone and they go up these hills and they'll like stick like forks, I mean trees like, and they'll roll by like anybody that will come up and try to take their land. Um, I'll say Tai Levu no Lenga is like meaning no fear, no fear nobody and we stand alone so I kind of learned it and I was like, yeah, I, that kind of resonates with how everything is going with me. Yeah, yeah absolutely. Yeah. You also had a chance, I saw on your Instagram, you made a donation to mm -hmm. what, the Samoa Baptist Academy. What's it like being in a position now to, to give back? Oh uh, man, it's a blessing. That donation was like a school, private school that I, all eight of us of our siblings went through. Um, my mom was a teacher there and kind of just like set a foundation early in my age of growing up and knowing um, you know, growing up really fast though, but also like surrounded like in the church environment. Um, so for me, the, the get back to those kids and also like see see them like sitting down in the same seats I was sitting yeah, the same chapel, the same organization I was in. It was it was definitely like um, I planted a seed that day, and uh, to see that fruition, they saying like the end of the year, uh, the whole building will be uh, finished. So I can't wait to after the season to go back and see that. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah. And another big thing that you did this off season, you decided to get your U.S. citizenship. Tell mm -hmm. me about that and, and just what went into that process. I sit down and he's like, all right, Lou, are you ready? I was like, yes. And he was the first question I remember. He's like, what is an amendment? And then there was a screen on my side. And I was like, oh, there's no questions popping up. So I thought it was multiple choice. And I was like, excuse me, is it not multiple choice? He's like, no, this is all orally. I was like, so I already, like my whole mind just like from there, was right. like, all right, I'm, I'm screwed. But um, got to get six out of the, the ten right. I got five five. Failed the first time. Came the second time. Studied uh, with Karen. She kind of helped me out. Studied. Did my rehab at the same time. And yeah, and uh, kind of passed. But the whole process was like, it was very long. When you found out you passed the second time, yeah. what did that mean to you? I, I felt good. I mean, everything that um, my brother, phrase he kind of started off. I didn't know where he left off with everything in the process. So just me finishing off what he started, it was like, I mean, a lot to me, but also like for my parents. So for somebody to sponsor them, somebody had to do it in the family. So he kind of took that role uh, so I could sponsor them and get their citizenship. But also just to travel and see my games and also like be around us, you know, um, while they're still alive. So a big congrats to Frankie on earning his citizenship this offseason. And of course, the Panthers opening their season against the Falcons tomorrow. We are here. We will have you covered on how this team performs in its debut. In Atlanta, Georgia, for WCNC Charlotte, I'm Ashley Stroline.